guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you can notify when I post some new shit okay and if it resonates give me a little thumbs up baby and let me know how or why in the comments your confirmations do be creepy but they do be confirming no, just kidding. <laughs> I want to say thank you to anyone who likes shares subscribes donates I appreciate all the love and the support I really do and thank you guys for catching a vibe this energy feels really really beautiful I was gonna record this the other day, but like the energy wasn't right and uh, you know, I took a day and now I understand why <laughs> So everything happens for a reason, baby. Anyway, but yeah, as always keep in mind These are general readings, you know, so not every message will feel like it's for you if it doesn't, you know then Just don't take it, you know, or you can watch another reading yeah <laughs> if you would like to book a personal my email is in the description box but i will never message you for a reading so please beware of scammers so what are we talking about here today <laughs> we're talking about what are the people how do people that you work with view you so how do people at work view you so it could be customers clients bosses if you're an entrepreneur obviously you know it could be vendors people that you interact in your day-to-day at work okay <laughs> could be your subordinates i don't care what position you are in we are gonna get all of the tea baby so we have four piles today and you can always choose more than one pile if you feel called to but you're never obligated to keep that in mind okay we have pile number one which is the pastel journey tarot we have pile number two which is the uncommon tarot pile number three which is the mystic monday tarot and pile number four which is the game of thrones tarot all right i can't wait to see what's coming out i'm already i <laughs> whoa i'm already hyped up and shit but let's get into it i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the pile that you picked bye what's going on pile one it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition again if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you can notify when i post some new stuff and if it resonates you know give me a little thumbs up baby or comment and let me know how or why y'all engaging i do appreciate all the love and the support it does help this channel grow which will help me and in turn help everybody <laughs> okay so oh sugar oh no it's right here okay we're gonna get your current energy keep in mind thousands of people are watching so not every message may feel like it's for you just let it go don't you know let it take from you if it you know the whole message doesn't resonate then you can watch another pile watch another reading watch another reader do whatever makes you happy okay my intention is that it feels like a personal baby i like it for it to be accurate sorry for the wobbles <laughs> but um yeah let's get pile number one's current energy please three cards okay one more all right oh i like oh my god moving on up to a new life okay pile number one you are manifesting massive change not only in all aspects of your life but it's like new doors are opening as you have closed out certain doors in your life and you went through some hardships wow enter the magic i have not seen this card in a while some of you guys may have been suffering um in silence i heard but also it's just you've been suffering from a lot of mental uh illness aspects like could be depression it could be um anxiety it could be you doom scrolling it could be you just trying to escape the present moment and you're shifting from that okay you are processing a lot going through a lot and having a lot of downloads and it's like energetically you're meant to be seen and you get a lot of attention and yes you get a lot of good attention because a lot of people do love you pal one but you also have a lot of negative attention and sometimes if you don't cleanse your energy enough that negative energy tends to put you in a funk where you feel like the whole world is against you where you feel just down and out and where your mental starts playing tricks on you and stuff so keeping in mind that you know you may have just done a cleanse or maybe you're going to do a cleanse but you need to you know keep up with your cleanses and you know that and also your protection after you do a cleanse you do the protection you know 
But there is emphasis on now that you are leaving behind or you left behind certain people or situations and that also could be the negative energy that could be affecting and impacting you. You are protected. Look at this bubble around her and so is your future because we have this bubble over here and look at it's like this beautiful town with rainbows and it's like some of you guys are moving away and we have birds. So in a sunflower, your confidence is going to be up. Your money is going to be up. Your communication skills is going to be up and you're going to be honestly speaking you're freeing yourself because you're going to be living in your truth, speaking your truth, communicate honestly, be who you truly are. You're stepping into a period where you're jumping through a portal, <laughs> so to speak, and you are stepping into you're opening yourself up to believe in what you deserve and you're going to be receiving so much. And I don't just mean money, but prosperity is here and we have eight energy open to abundance in these coins. So definitely your money is going to be up. So if you've been worried about money, worry no more. Your heart chakra, everyone's heart chakra is lit up, okay? Your heart chakra is going to be opening a lot of yellow, a lot of green. Solar plexus energy. You're going to be motivated if you've been feeling lethargic, drained, just unsatisfied, apathetic. All these lower vibrational energies that you've been going through recently. Also, it's a collective energy too because the earth and, and the sun, there's planets. You know you know how it goes, but like there's been a lot. And um, you're always going to remain protected. And the energy that you've been putting work into is finally going to be coming back to you tenfold. I feel like there was a pause. Like it was like, because I'm seeing like a, a, a crack in like a dam. And then the crack has like this little trickle of water. And you're like, yeah, where's like what's going on? And the crack's going to bust open. And then all the water's just. <laughs> and a flood of all the things that you've been working towards is going to come in. Because you're trusting in the divine. Because you're taking leaps of faith. Because you're doing what you need to. And you're also surrendering. And you're living in the present moment. That's what's going to happen. Is you are going to surrender. And feel those negative feelings. And move through them. And pass through it. And then you're going to to allow more magic into your life you're going to remain more grounded and you're going to be taking action it's going to be like instead of like getting in your head about things you're just going to do it <laughs> okay so if that resonates congratulations you deserve everything that's coming to you baby let's get into how do the people at work view you okay pile number one how do the, how do the people at work view you okay this could be people you work with you know you got the gist it's just anybody it could be clients customers people who view you if you're an influencer your social media following it's, it doesn't matter okay notice how i said that though some of you could be uh influencers or entrepreneurs definitely in this um pile Ooh, okay <laughs> I want to talk about the fact that um, a lot of people view you like constantly. A lot of people watch you at work for some reason or like like to watch what you do, watch how you move or like to watch you while you work. There's something about you being very like aesthetically pleasing when you're working, okay? Maybe you're really attractive. I don't know what this could be. It could be anything. It could just be the way you move, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you interact, your energy. You have a beautiful, pure, pure energy that makes people feel like just being in emotion and interaction or being around you or watching you or experiencing whatever it is that you provide is a blessing, is a win for them, okay? <laughs> like, it's like... In passing, let's say you're a grocery store clerk. It's like that interaction. I know you're not, but <laughs> hey, if you are, you could be, you know, but I feel like this is not that group. Um, but this is what I'm getting. It's like th they'll never forget you. Even if that's the only time that they see you, they're like, wow, that person. It's like people view you, especially if you like work at a place where other people can hear like people talking about you as they have left an interaction with you. It's always in a highlight. It's like, wow, that person, such an, such a good person. They were so nice. So so helpful or so smart or so this, just it, emphasis on your intelligence. Okay. A lot of people look to you in a highlight. You, that's again, this entrepreneur boss. Okay. You could be a manager or a leader or something in a higher, someone in a higher power, shift leader, supervisor, man, it doesn't matter. Um, either way you have leadership qualities that do stand out regardless of if you are in a leadership position or not, excuse me. Um, but like I was going to say in the beginning, right before I started to place your cards down, I heard, the lyrics for a whole new world. <laughs> I'll say dazzling, dazzling in, in, in splendor. Like people view you as the world, like a whole new world, a, a different type of person. And the people who work with you, everyone who interacts with you, 
at some point in work, they view you as somebody who is very unique in a whole new world. Like, there's nobody like you. And um, they love that, okay? They view you as somebody who's very creative. You may do your job in a different way because you... Yeah, people will tell you how to do your job and then you, the student for life, okay, you figure out a way to make it easier and then you'll teach somebody else, okay? Because, again, with this energy, it's like you are always learning and you're always trying to improve whatever it is that you are learning or, or improve your work. You're always trying to become better at your job or whatever service you provide or whatever it is that you are doing or wherever you're at, okay? You're the person who is always getting better. You probably get promotions a lot and people view you as somebody who's very successful. We have win, win, win. Win a win a chicken dinner, okay? <laughs> I want to clarify because there's something that needs to come out about this, but also it's just like, how can this be so wonderful? How can you be so wonderful? Again, this unique energy. People don't understand with this hierophant in reverse you're very unconventional people don't understand how you do this when you take action bro also a lot of people who work with you view you in like uh i would love to date this person this person's very attractive so that's the second time we're talking about how you look just pointing it out that out there so <laughs> stop it no, i'm just kidding but yeah people view you as like you're you would be a win okay like I want this person in my life like okay yeah I'm buying something from this person or yeah I work with this person but like I don't want this interaction to end I would like to either build a connection with this person build a friendship I heard you could have high boundaries and you could be like the type of person that you know you be chilling by yourself and you don't like to make friends at work and stuff you know you, you you've been through certain things in the past where people have maybe you've been immature so you kind of like you keep work with work and you're very private and people view you as somebody who's very private who doesn't want to lose sleep or stress over um building connections at work you know you're not the type of person you you you're in and out like i want to get my job done okay yeah you're very kind you're very friendly you have a hard hospitality like you're very good in customer service you may have already worked in customer service in the past but i don't feel like all of you guys are in customer service right now but you could be i mean everything is customer service technically uh or providing a service regardless um even if you're inventing something, it will provide somebody with a service and you are aiming to provide a customer with a service. But I digress. I don't know why we're... Yeah, a lot of you guys are very, like, <laughs> literal. You you could be very uh, intelligent. You could know a lot of things. And um, they view you as somebody who... Maybe you go, like, by yourself. You, I'm saying somebody who goes on their break in their car and does their own thing or it's like when you go on break you leave you don't go in the break room or if you're in the break room you're doing your own thing you're minding your business you got your headphones in you're reading a book or you know you're like i don't want to this is my break don't talk to me <laughs> uh it's not to say that you're not like you you're very enjoyable to have conversations with but you are very selective of who you have conversations with you know what i'm saying but you're very much in control okay people look to you as a positive guiding light you have a talent in whatever this is you're very talented and you continue to get better and better and it's like you keep winning you're very lucky the people who either view you at work or view you or whatever at your job they see that you're very lucky like everything works out for you it's like so many wishes come through you're the person who always gets things or solves things and everything it's like you don't come to work and it's a bad shift and then when you're working it's like the shift is smooth and everybody it's like everyone's like what the hell is happening here it could be your in energy impacting it like when you're not there work is shitty because somebody's negative energy takes over and then, <laughs> you know people are stressed out but then when you come back and they're like oh my god yesterday was a shit show but today girl you boy you missed like you missed that shit can you believe that like what if people view you as somebody who always misses the trauma or you miss like you like avoid accidents you are very lucky in regards to avoiding negative t things like let's say you worked at like a, a store and the store got robbed it would never happen if you was there. <laughs> like you're so protected and people do view you as that like it's always like when you're there things are better and that's how people have you uh, view you at work okay pile number one we have the world, the strength, the ace of cups, the three of cups, the ten of cups, the six of pentacles, and then we have the knight of swords, the queen of wands, and the ten of pentacles. Look at all this cup energy. Do you see how 
you get an emotional response out of everybody you may see people smile a lot at work or just like get super excited hey pop one's here what's up oh i missed you last shift you know what i'm saying people miss you when you're gone or miss you when you're not there or people just your absence is very felt Okay, and again, there's this energy of you could be standoffish, you could be like, nah, I'm cooling, like, I'm gonna go straight home after work. People, your coworkers or people want to hang out with you, and you you set firm boundaries. You're like, no, sorry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> people want to be your friends or your lovers, and also, like, people feel like your fam. People feel extremely connected to you. They feel like you are generous. You give out love and you get 10 times more love. People just unconditionally love you, okay? <laughs> but what? what the fuck? Like, people may fall in love with you and, like, obviously they're not going to say anything. Would they say something? You may. Okay. Babe, so, some of y'all may have met your, your partner or you're going to meet your partner through work. That's interesting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, somebody may, may step up soon. So if that does happen, please come back to this reading. No, I'm just kidding. We got to, I'll forget. <laughs> I'm like, what are you even talking about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll probably remember because this is an amazing reading. So again, we have this world energy. You are very successful, but you are also willing to walk away and close out things that are not working. And you are always looking for a better way to do things. You also may travel for work a lot too. And people view you as somebody who is lucky enough to travel or maybe the people that you work with they see that you go on vacation or travel a lot there's something about movement about travel okay um maybe you're always talking about oh yeah i'm going over here and this this and this and you have like seven plans to go travel somewhere and people are like what we work at the same we get the same amount right like how are you doing this <laughs> anyway but yeah, people view you as somebody who's very well known as well. Maybe uh, where, whatever you do for work gets a lot of attention or you just know a lot of people or clients or everyone just knows you. Or maybe you've just met a lot of people through work. Okay, you maybe have worked at a lot of different areas and let's say there's a convention for this business and you worked at multiple places and everybody from each place is at this place and you're all talking to everybody and they're like, how do you know everyone like in this place and you're like I, I worked over here and then I talked to them you make connections very easy like people want to know you people want to be your friend again at work you are viewed as somebody who does not view the attention that you get okay very humble very patient very courageous you're very blunt as well and you're a hard worker you will speak your truth you may say things that are out of pocket that people would never dare to say but you're the person who will say it like let's say a boss is being unfair or not stepping up you're gonna be like excuse me we need help 444 you're the type of person who again this leadership even if you're not a leader um you're the person who will call out the leader if they're not stepping up let's say you're a manager and you call out your superior you're the type of person who will call out the superiors or call out people who ain't doing their job you know what i'm saying like i'm if i'm putting it in work you better put in work i we need this energy reciprocated because i'm not gonna put all in this put in so much work and carry your i'm not picking up slack bitch like and that may catch people off guard like people may think that they can take advantage of you but then you're the type of person you'll speak up okay there's also this emphasis on um you guys may have a side project if you work at a, a nine to five that you are building and people view you as somebody who will become an entrepreneur or who will be very successful or world known if you're heading towards social media and you're working a nine to five as well that's coming out for some of you with this ten of pentacles regardless if you have a lot of money or not people view you as somebody who has a lot of money and who is also generous with their money like let's say you you might buy lunch for some of the people you work with or like if somebody needs something you'll you'll pay for it like you know what i got it it's okay it's all right don't worry about it like that kind of vibe it is this kindness to you when it comes to money like you're not very um you're not the the miser okay you're not very like I need to hold on to every penny. It's like, let it flow, baby. It's okay. Also, you're very patient and like, I'm getting like when someone makes a mistake or if someone's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like you're, you're like, it's okay. Like you don't stress. 
okay? You really do not stress. And I don't know if you're stressing on the inside, but on the outside, the way you portray yourself is like, I got everything together. Even if you could be running around with like a chicken with your head cut off on the inside, nobody knows that because, again, you have this like happy or stoic demeanor. You maybe take a breath and then you calm down and then you assess the situation and you solve the problems that need to be solved. Wow, you have a beautiful energy. The people who work with you love you. Okay, your clients love you, the pe people who see you, or the people who get to experience your services, they love, love, love you, Pile One. So I hope you have an amazing day, night, or uh, whatever. That's what we're gonna call it, baby, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oh, what's up, Pile Number Two? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. Again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, you know, give me a little comment. Let me know how or why, baby. I'm here for it. All right, Pile One was beautiful. I loved it. So we're going to get your current energy, and then we're going to see um, if this is your pile. If Keep in mind, like, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may be for you. You know, if the whole message doesn't resonate, you know, watching the pile, watching the reading... Just do what makes you happy. Okay, baby? <laughs> um, if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading. So, pile number two. What's pile two's current energy? So they can know that this is their pile. One more. Just one more card. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Stargate to Lyra. Interesting energies. It could be that time of the month for someone who's watching this pile. If it is, com <laughs> no, you don't have to comment, but that that's crazy. What the fuck? Anyway, or it could be ending. So we have your personal unicorn, cosmic pearl, pure intention. Oh my God, another beautiful, pure hearted soul. Why am I not surprised? I mean, it's my collective. You guys are amazing. So, wow. You guys are very, very psychic and you have surrendered. You're no longer really triggered by things. Okay. I do feel a lot of people try to trigger you or push your buttons or, you know, say things to get a rise out of you. And it's just like things that used to bother you, they just don't. You're shifting from this darker energy to this lighter energy, okay? Life is gonna start getting so much more lighter and you're gonna feel like it's a, a refresh, a restart, a new beginning. You're building a new foundation and luck is on your side, okay? You do have to make a choice every day though to try to do what will help you and and what serves you okay because the choices that you make throughout your day they do build your life and it's it's giving simple choices like when you wake up instead of scrolling on your phone you know maybe do a meditation <sighs> had to crack my neck maybe um get moving more or you know it's like health bound situations because there's something about as you do your routines that puts you in a good energy and a good mindset when you take action towards whatever it is that you need to accomplish you have an amazing energy you get things done quicker and you're so much more successful and you've probably experienced this and then you know when you have your days that you need rest it's it's a good thing to allow yourself to rest and not guilt trip yourself and I think that's what you're going to be stepping into is releasing like you know because a lot of you Guys, you work hard a lot but sometimes you need some rest and you know you beat yourself up because you know you don't have the energy but what you do you take a lot it takes a lot of energy also there's something about when you you tap when you sleep you need to make sure that you uh, set the intention that you will wake up rejuvenated because you do a lot of astral travel or a lot of movement in the in the astros okay <laughs> there's something about that you may dream a lot or uh, you actually may have astro traveled in your life before, 333. Three, three. I've only done it like twice or three times in my life. And one time I had another person in my household who actually confirmed it for me. Rest in peace, grandpa. But like, he was like, yeah, I saw you in my dream. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so I, I saw you and I was real? Okay. No, I knew it was real, but I didn't know that he was consciously like actually astro traveling as well, which was cool. Anyway, but I mean, when you're about to pass on, you're so much more connected to the other side. So it makes sense. I digress. So being open to newness is a very big thing or uh, it's going to be a big factor in your life. Okay, not saying no to things due to fear. Having the courage to step into new rooms, to speak new opinions and to continue to shift your perspective on yourself and your life because you are stepping through a portal that is going to really really 
open you to new opportunities and you're about to find a lot of clarity some type of communication we have these two birds here some type of communication it's going to be either communication of love or somebody who was you know somebody may speak your truth this is a specific message somebody may tell you that they have feelings for you and this could have been somebody who, you know, they denied it before and now you're going to get the clarity that you need. And I think that you have already moved on from this person. Some of you guys, you may have not and you may actually decide to, you know, get into union or give this a try. And some of you guys, you may want to be petty, but again, the message is to surrender your ego. If they tell you that shit and you want to be like, well, it's too late now, mother. <laughs> Keep in mind that karma, you know, will come back to you. So if you want to do that, you can, but you know, you will get some type of comeuppance um, in the future. Some of you guys may get instant karma. I know I get instant karma, which is why I try not to do no shasty shit because it comes back to me real fucking quick, okay? Throughout my whole life, I've experienced that. So. If that resonates at all, let's get into how do the people at work view you? Oh my god, pile number two. I don't know. I don't know what that was. You guys, people get like, uh, oh my god, there's so much coming in. First of all, yeah, you're definitely psychic and people definitely feel like you're psychic. You may be a right, my, uh, people view you as a rider like you you will go to the ends of the earth for the co-workers or the clients or the the people that you mess with like it's given like <sighs> you ha may have a favorite boss or a favorite manager this is just an example and if they need somebody to come in you'll you'll be like you can always call on me you know why because i mess with you <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i don't know what that laugh was, was <laughs> There's something about your laugh. People uh, who view you at work, you're always laughing. You're always, you're very light at work, but you still work very hard. Some of y'all could have came from pile one because we have student here and we had student in pile one from another deck, which I find very interesting. Um, you change people's lives when you come into work and you also change the, the, the energy of the atmosphere, okay? People view you as a Venn diagram. They view you as the unexplained in the middle. And then we have the pros and the cons, okay? Because some of you guys, you know, <laughs> um, you could not be willing to teach people all the time. Or you may, like, be like, okay, let's say you need to train somebody for something. It's like, you pick up on things very quickly and you have high expectations and you want people to pick up on things very quickly it's like you may have an aggravated face like when people are like asking for help and it's like you already showed somebody twice and you're like bro you, you still don't get it like <laughs> not that you're actually saying that maybe some of you are but it's like <laughs> that's only for some of you Okay, um, you may come into work with shades or someone likes your glasses. The people at work view you as somebody who has beautiful glasses. Also, there's something about your body and you're very grounded, okay? The people who view you at work, they view you as somebody who has a very nice body. It doesn't matter how big, small. There's something, some aspect of your body. You could be very active. People want to know what you are doing. Um, the people who work with you, they want to give you gifts. They want to support you. Let's say you work in a tip-based um, field. People who uh, get your services or who purchase from you or whatever, they want to give you extra tips just because you, like you, I don't know. People are very devoted to you. People view you in a humble light, but they also view you as somebody who takes no shit. They view you as somebody who, um, <laughs> you could be arrogant sometimes, uh, or they view you as arrogant. That doesn't mean that you actually have to be arrogant, but like people, cause you have a lot of knowledge. Okay. And the thing is, is like, you have a lot of knowledge and you do make things look very easy. And then when people try to do what it is that you're doing and you know, they can't keep up and then you get kind of like aggravated because they have to ask for help. It's like, people are like, ugh so arrogant like i'm just asking like how do i fix the printer but for the seventh time sally like let's get it together baby you know just kidding <laughs> because i think a lot of you guys you learn things on your own you learn through trial and error and you're very quick-witted and you have a lot of knowledge you've experienced a lot i think a lot of you guys have worked at multiple jobs in multiple fields so you just have a lot of knowledge and 
I don't know. You're just, you know what to do. Again, this intuitive notion. You trust your intuition and your intuition guides you in this. And that's why people are like, what the hell? Like, how do they know how to do that when we just got this? Like, I don't understand. Like, let's say there's a new program. Everyone's looking to you and you are literally all on the same page. Like, we all went through the same workbook. What do you mean? Like, why are you all looking at me? Like, I am the one who knows more. But you do because you're getting downloads and you know things that they don't know. Okay? To be real. But I digress. Um, they view you as somebody who, you know, you are connected to your soul purpose, all right? They view you as somebody who's connected to your your soul. You could be already working in your soul purpose in regards to whatever this work is. Or, like, if you're doing a 9 to 5, you work on your soul purpose on the side. Like, people are like, oh, what are you doing when you leave? And you're like, oh, I gotta work on this, this, and this. And you, you tell people about that, and they're like, oh, wow, this, purp th this purpose, <laughs> this person's working towards their purpose. This person is, like, connected to their soul. This person knows what they want. Again, you have a lot of wisdom. People who view you at work, you're very wise, you're very focused, but it's like, you know, you have a perfect blend. Again, you're a paradox pile too, and you have a perfect blend of being grounded in, in this energy, but also very connected to the spiritual realm. And uh, you could talk about spirituality a lot and some woo-woo stuff to people, what people deem as woo-woo, but then they start to actually enact what you do and they start to see or see how you get success from trusting your intuition or doing certain things. And some people may have experienced some psychic things with you, okay? Maybe you told somebody something and then it actually happened and they're like, oh my god, Pal 2 is definitely psychic. Because <laughs> they're bringing me back to this time when I worked at Wendy's and I was walking by somebody who was changing the trash and they were struggling and I continued to walk on and then I heard in a voice and it was like, I heard, I swear it was his voice, but I, it could have been mine. I don't know. All, regardless, I heard it and it was like, are you going to fucking help me with this? And I paused and I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boop, boop. You said what? You want me to help you with that? And he said, no, I was thinking that. And I was like, <gasps> And then I told him, he was like, <gasps> this was before I even like tapped into spirituality before at 555, before I even had my first spiritual awakening. That was probably one of my first, first, well, probably not because I've probably been psychic since I was born, but let's be real, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, but yeah, people view you as like, you don't like destructiveness. You don't like sloppiness. Um, you're very neat and precise. And when thing you, you clean a lot, you may like, if people come into your area, let's say somebody uses like sits at your desk and uses stuff, then you start cleaning after because people are moving all your shit around and you're like, why are you touching my shit? <laughs> and that's again this arrogance. People are like, that's so arrogant, but like it's my stuff. Like why are you touching my stuff? <laughs> like who told you to touch that, Sally? Like <laughs> who's Sally? <laughs> Sally from the valley? Okay, let's get into your tarot. All right, pile two. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Three of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Wanderer, the Queen of Swords. The, the, why am I not surprised that the Queen of Swords like came through? The Lovers. And then we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot, the Six of Coins, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Coins. Again, there's this duality with this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Swords. It's like, you're so kind, so caring, so compassionate, so loving, so intuitive. Also very blunt and cutthroat. It depends on, you know, how people come towards you. They reminded me of like when I was at the dispensary and I was talking to a customer and you know we were having a nice conversation and yeah there was a line but I just like she asked me a question so I answered and then you know it was really like a two second thing it wasn't as serious but this guy was like huffing and puffing because he was the next customer and I knew I was gonna get him too because everyone else was just started with theirs and um you know <laughs> I said bye and then he came up and he's like yeah da, da, da. and then I I was just like with his same energy, I was like, okay, anything else? Like, bland as fuck. Whole demeanor just switched up, and then he, like, <laughs> he switched up after, because he realized, like, oh, damn. Maybe I was the rude one, it, you know? And I mirrored back his energy, and it wasn't consciously, but I just didn't like that fat, like, the way that he, that he was doing that shit. But anyway, he gave me a tip anyway, so I was like, I bet. You realized. <laughs> you realized I was the lesson for you, baby. It's all right. It's all right. I was teaching you patience. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are very silly. You're very silly and very funny and very witty. You're not uh, one who tolerates gossip. Like, when people start to gossip in the work environment, for those of you who are in a work environment, you just don't like gossip in general. And you're just, like, not. You're like, ching! Fuck that. Okay? Um, a lot of people find you very sexy, pal, too. 
again with the body i was talking about the body we touched on it a little bit <laughs> your body is bodying and there's something very sexy about you some people try to picture you or like they like the way you dress they like it when you wear tighter clothes and some of you guys may not wear tight clothes and people you leave things to the imagination and people get fantasizing okay that's only for some of you well it's gonna be a lot of you let's be real <laughs> but um <clears throat> yeah try not trying to make you feel uncomfortable but you do have people who sexualize you a lot and are very passionate about you but people also view you as somebody who's very passionate um there's something about your jewelry or your watches and stuff. You may have nice accessories or your earrings. You accessorize a lot and your hair. You may always have your hair done and you smell really good when you, you present, again, this neat, organized, um, you look like you have yourself together. You just present yourself very nice, neat, composed, and you look nice. Like, your clothes are always nice and, and, you know, you just, you look nice. It's not bougie, but it's just like you look nice, you have nice things, and you pair things up. You're very fashionable as well but you're very sexy <laughs> and maybe sometimes you wear something and, and you, your cleavage might show a little bit or like we could see your biceps a little more through your shirt or something and then people are like they go to town with that they're like did you see pal too they look so good today oh my god emphasis on a lot of people at the workplace talk about your pal too in a good light it's all good things well, it's not all the good things, actually, but a lot of it has to do with your looks or if, like, you cut somebody off or you tell somebody... If you set a boundary with somebody, there's always one person who will run to to somebody else. Like, with this Three of Cups, it's, like, maybe a group of people at the watering hole, okay? At the, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but, like, that's just an example. Like, you know, groups of people at work could be talking about it and then they're like, oh, I don't know why are you talking about Pal 2. Like, they're mad nice to me. And then this other person's like... They're always mad, mean to me. Well, how do you treat them, bitch? <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, people definitely view you as somebody who's exciting, who's passionate, who's the life of the workplace, okay? You bring this enthusiasm and, you know... Some of you guys, you may have walked away from a position. You may have left a certain job to go to another job or something like that. You may have denied a position. Or it's like you walk away from people. You just don't have time for the tomfoolery. Again, it's kind of similar to Pal One. In and out, like I'm here to do my work and I'm moving on. Like we're not, we're not friends. Uh, the people who work with you, they do want to be your friend. Except for the ones who do not like you because you do have somebody or some people who do not like you. There's also this emphasis on like if people's partners come to the job and shit like that, they see you and they get intimidated or they get scared that you're their person's work husband or wife or something like that um i don't know why that's coming through but maybe somebody wants to be wants you to be their work husband or wife yeah also people do talk about you to their significant others if, especially this person who complains it's like they go home and they complain about you to their significant other but then there's others who actually really enjoy you and like you and they talk about you to their significant other or their friends. So either way, you got people talking about you, your coworkers and stuff, maybe customers going up to their friends like, yo, there's this person that works at this place, bro. They're fine as fuck. Da -da 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 -da. You need to go there. Then, then they tell, like put you on blast and shit. Like, I don't know what this is, but people are talking about you and like promoting you. It's like you have free promotion. Like what the fuck is going on, bro? Okay, and if you're an entrepreneur, um, and you have your creative ventures or something like that. Again, there's like word of mouth, a lot of word of mouth about your products or your services, whatever that is, you know? It's giving like, yo, check out this tarot reader. They're fine as fuck or they're f funny as fuck or they're so talented as fuck. But again, you notice how the first thing I said was fine as fuck. People talk about your looks immediately. That's the first thing they notice off the bat when they walk into the vicinity or see you or whatever it is. All right, <clears throat> the people who view you at work, they view you as somebody who's motivated, who may have a nice car, who's very successful, but also very tapped into their emotions, okay? Um, some people view you as somebody who, like, it's like you have your he head held high and, like, people think that you uh, are condescending, but it's like you're not condescending. It's just people take, take you in a wrong way piled to i'm not gonna lie like people view you as somebody you're no nonsense you're very motivated you're about the business and you're still kind but you don't take disrespect so there's some haters that do not like you 
because you stand in your truth. Also, you could be very busy, and if you're very busy, you're you're gonna stand on it. You're gonna be like, no, I can't help you because I have to do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? And some people do not like that. Again, you set boundaries with people. You're not gonna overextend yourself. And like, it's given like if a uh, manager's like, yo, can you stay late? And you're like, no. They take that to uh, offense, and then they go and gossip to everybody at the workplace. It's that kind of vibe. Like somebody gets triggered because you don't take their shit anymore, or you just set boundaries. You're quick to walk away you're quick to leave with this eight of uh cups and this wanderer it's like uh, i have other shit to do i have new opportunities waiting for me as i walk out that door and you are not gonna stop me <laughs> also there's something about if you like you may get advantages as well they reminded me of how I was always late to like every single job that I had and um I never got fired for being late ever and I always because I'm a hard worker and I did my shit you know what I'm saying like I don't know what it is but that it could be for that that for some of you guys as well but you're very busy also people feel like you have a very busy life outside of that and um you're also a generous soul who gives to those that you love and you clap back to those who send hate you can read through people you can see through people and and people can see that you know who's talking shade and then you start moving differently and then people go talking about it like did you tell pal too i was talking about them because now they're being mean to me and da -da 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 -da. like <laughs> that's so funny yeah but some people feel like you're foolish because you may have walked away from another job let's say you left like this big corporate company to go to a, a smaller job or work in or you're working instead of full hours you're working part-time or something like that and people feel like you're foolish but i do think that you have some type of passion project or you have other things that need your energy as well and you'd be spreading yourself too thin and you're heading towards success regardless regardless if they hate you or love you they know you're going to be successful but a lot of people do love you and a lot of people talk about how they would like to be your friend or in a relationship with you because we do have the three of cups and the lovers, okay? They also view you as somebody who's very decisive and quick to take action and you take a lot of risks either in life or in general or just at the workplace. All right, that's where we're going to call it, pal, two. Very interesting energies. Let's get uh, let's get into it. What the hell? I love you. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Ooh, what's up pal three it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition if you are new here hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when i post some new stuff what you mean no, I'm just kidding. and if it resonates you know give me a little thumbs up baby let me know how or why in the comments okay if you would like to book a personal my email is in the description box i will never message you for a reading so please be aware of these scammers out here and thank you for watching let's get it okay first we're gonna get your current energy because keep in mind there's thousands of people watching so we want to make sure that this is your pile if it doesn't resonate you know you can watch another pile watch another reading just watch another reader do what makes you happy but not every message may be for you just because one message doesn't resonate doesn't mean that the whole message is null and void there could still be messages i don't know why i had to say that but i did so what is pile number three's energy pile one and pile two were very interesting similar energies but not really <laughs> i feel like People don't know how to handle Pal 2. Wow, I'm not taking all that. Thank you. And Pal 1 is like people, like, yeah, you know, they're riders for Pal 1. <laughs> I mean, people still love Pal 2, but Pal 2 got boundaries. And I'm not saying Pal 1 don't got boundaries, but people take, yeah, take them the wrong way. There's a lot of orange and uh, red energy. So, again, there's this emphasis changes are coming the winds of change your life's about to change okay you're opening your heart which is opening yourself up to magic okay you're learning to love on yourself more okay you're opening yourself up to receive and massive amounts of blessings and peace are coming in and joy and happiness and you're going to have that energy like it's like all these blessings and all this beautiful energy coming towards you it's like gonna come in and you're a funnel and you're gonna just spread it to the world like you're getting blessings but you're a blessing to the world and i think that's why you're going to be getting so many blessings it's so that you continue to bless the world there's it's just this reciprocated energy the universe is blessing you and it's because you have mastered something and you are becoming this leader and ambassador for change peace growth love harmony it's like you 
accept the darkness and you get vulnerable with people about the darkness, about the endings, about the situations that you've been through, about the challenges that you've overcome. Some of you guys definitely could be influencers with this ambassador uh, energy, uh, but it's like whatever this is that you're doing, you're mastering it. You're mastering your craft, you're mastering staying grounded, you're mastering opening your heart, and you're mastering the ability to receive and then spread your light and no longer dim your light, okay? A, a lot of you guys, you've been in the public eye, but I do feel like it's like you're, you're going to level up the amount that you're putting yourself out there or how you're putting yourself out there. There's something about you changing in confidence and, you know, abundance is going to be coming in and you're oh yeah look look see pay it forward it says pay it forward and then we have illuminate the world spread hope and joy that's what it is like you're about to get so many blessings you're going to feel so loved and it's like you're going to be giving love to the world and it's going to be sending you love tenfold back and it's because you're just get, it's like this energetic like loop-de-loop -loop, okay <laughs> It's like, finally, everything that you've been putting in, all of that is coming back to you. And then you're going to be blo blossoming, blooming. There's also ladybugs and, and coins on this card as well. So your money could be in flux, you know. It could be coming out of a, a lack or a dip or a pause, okay? There may have been money blocks or it's like, you know, you get money and then there's a bill or something happens to your car or something breaks and stuff and you're just like, bro, like what the fuck? <laughs> now it's like that's finally going to be ending. And it's no matter what, you were always grateful, okay? Even through the challenges, like, yeah, you still had your dips and stuff because you're human. You know, we are spiritual beings having a human, a human experience, but I do feel like you were always grateful. Like you always found a reason to be grateful and that's why you have so much good coming to you again like I said in one of the other piles it's like the floodgates are going to be opening and it's just going to all come in like <laughs> like a laser beam like freaking laser beams Austin Powers what the fuck anyway but yeah some of you guys could be 30 32 and that could also relevate to um be relevant to your um your Saturn return so even 27 28 29 uh but yeah, I do feel like a lot of you guys, you're maturing, you're growing, and you're allow allowing your light to shine even brighter. You've always been a bright light, and you've always been somebody who got a lot of attention, but now you're going to get 10 times more. So if you've been getting a lot of attention now, it's about to triple to the point where you're going to be like, what is going Am I famous? Like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> okay, but let's get into your reading in regards to how do the people at work view you? I just heard in my head I died and went to heaven. I'm not sure what that's about, but maybe some clients or some people get really starstruck or it's like you have a shocking appearance um, and there's something about people getting really shocked and really, really excited and you may stress people out and maybe people de definitely talk. You're like the talk of the town. You're the talk of the office. You're the talk of whatever it is that this is in regards to, okay? Everybody got something to say about pile three. Okay, we literally have gossip here, okay? Also, I don't like this energy, but there is emphasis on like when you have a success, no one talks about it. No one gives you your flowers. No one congratulates you. They don't give you your props when props are due because I feel like with this, every cycle is a higher opportunity and the setbacks, it's like you have setbacks, people gossip about it. When you get new opportunities, not everybody will give you your flowers. Not everybody will give you credit. Some people will one on one, but not everybody. Okay. Also, um, you're very trustworthy. People feel that you're very trustworthy and you don't like gossip, but everyone gossips about you. And um, some people feel like, you know, when you see things happening or you see people gossiping, you peep game and, you know, you just keep it to yourself sometimes and people are like, yeah, they just mind their business. <laughs> They're like, uh, nope, I am not getting involved in that issue. Uh, that's nothing to do with me. I'm on my own path. And a lot of you guys also, people view you as somebody who continues to level up, okay? You may always get promoted or always get a better, like, situation or something like that. Maybe a raise. Like, you're the person who always gets a raise or you always get promoted, Okay, and then it feels like two steps back because sometimes you may get stressed out. People at work view you as somebody who may get stressed out with the setbacks. Like this person's like 
rubbing their head, pulling their hair, just like very stressed out. Sometimes you may get stressed out and it's like you, you step up and then all of a sudden some shit happens and you get stressed out and then people just feel the need to gossip. They don't want to talk about your wins all the time. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to talk about how you have overcome certain setbacks. Okay? And you always overcome it, too. And you always find a solution. But people immediately just start talking about, oh, yeah, did you see this happened to Pile 3? That, you know, that this, this, and this happened? Some of y'all definitely came from another pile. Um... But it's like you always rebuild yourself. You always get yourself out of that. Like you may lose your cool for a second or two. And people tend to like gossip about that. Like, you know, immediately. First, I don't know who you, you be working with some shady people. Let's actually clarify. What's this? Uh, I'm going to clarify them, clarify them all. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. Oh, yeah. You end up closing out blockages you end up closing out negativity and you always end up climbing the ladder regardless of the toxicity or the negative aspects of either yourself or, or like whatever's going on you always end up succeeding you will always move forward you're constantly busy and that's the only reason why you may get overwhelmed some uh, overwhelmed sometimes it's given like people just sit back and gossip instead of trying to help you you're surrounded by toxic people at your workplace um you probably already know that, <laughs> all right? But you're surrounded by toxic people at your workplace or whatever this is. There are some toxic people who like prey on your downfall or if you're an entrepreneur or something like that, you have people who support you, but then you have a lot of people who talk about you being an entrepreneur like, oh yeah, they think they're gonna win or they think they're gonna, you know, you have, it just, you're, whatever this is, you attract a lot of toxicity. You attract a lot of toxicity. What's the setbacks, okay? I just heard, get my lick back. Yeah, see, you're very uh, similar to another pile. You're very unconventional. And then we have the death on the bottom, three of cups in reverse. You are, people don't celebrate your wins, but they celebrate your losses and they celebrate en endings. Then we also have the king of wands. So you could be in a position of power. People are like, I don't know why this person's in a position of power. Look at how stressed they're getting. Da -da -da -da. But... Have you ever been in a position of power? It's like these people really, they don't know what it takes to be in your footprints. You're, you're in your footprints. Okay. They try to follow your footprints, but they don't know what it takes to be in your shoes. And they really think like that they have one over on you, but they are no competition. You don't have any competition. You're not worried about this shit. And people try to gossip. Like people are in secret competition with you at work. Like let's go get the most sales. And like you got haters and shit at work. What's this gossip? Whoa. Five of Swords. Yeah, people really be talking shit. People are unhappy because you don't entertain the freaking... You don't try to build a connection with these people because you see right through them. You know that they're about this side-eye, fake bullshit, this selfish energy. You're too busy investing in yourself and investing to the people that you love. So you give your energy towards, you know, those who really are honest and truthful and who really mess with you. You're not trying to waste your time with that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But you definitely... People have work who fuck with you they view you as somebody who has a lot of haters or you go through a lot of gossip and stuff like that there's just a lot of people who gossip about you and a lot of people who throw shade and people who actually i'm getting another message and i really hope it's not true yeah people you have to keep your boundaries up and not tell people anything because of the fact that people really purposely try to set you up people try to set you up at work or try to cause setbacks but then you always end up coming out you always figure out the maze you always end up succeeding and that's what really pisses people off like people try to throw you under the bus and then you end up being okay unfazed yeah these people keep trying to do the same shit keep trying to hit you with the same bullshit and it's just like you're unfazed they're so negative and all they do is try to watch you and while you're happy and you know they continue to talk about like this, this, and that, and the third. You got Jimmy over there, an accountant, talking about, yeah, pile three. I tried to email pile three, and then, and then, and then, or I emailed pile three's boss because this, this, and this. It's like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, let's get into your tarot. Okay, pile number three. So we have the four of wands, the magician. We have the ten of cups, and the star, and the ace of cups, and the nine of wands yeah and also on the bottom of the deck we have the princess of pentacles the hierophant the death the three of cups and the king of wands 
I can see why you have a lot of haters. It's because you're in this beautiful, masterful energy, okay? Um, people also may gossip about your relationship at work. You may ha have a picture or people just may know. If This is for those of you in a connection. If you are in a connection, you're actually in a happy and healthy relationship. And people do gossip about that. There's a lot of jealousy and envy that was in the other cards. Like, I do feel like a lot of people... They just don't like you because you, they want to be you. Again, because I was talking about footsteps, following in your footsteps, copycat energy. They want to be like you, but they don't want to do what it takes to be like you. <laughs> and um, people just feel like it's very easy for you to get what you want. Everything works out for you, even if you have hard times, even if endings happen, even if things don't go your way right away, you always end up coming out on top and that does piss people off. And then you also have other people. Let's talk about the other spectrum of people who actually love and adore you. There's people who actually want to build or manifest you, manifest a connection with you. They view you as somebody who's very happy, a shining light, who's very confident, who's very unique, okay? And who is also very structured, very intelligent, and people love to talk to you. You have um, a way with words, and uh, people really do love you, but you also... Yes, you are loving, but you have your boundaries set, set firm. And uh, it could be that you come off very standoffish, but people still love you regardless of your boundaries. They're like, no, I respect that. I get it. Like, I understand where Pot 3 is coming from because I also see, like, these people see how the other people are acting towards you. And that's like, you know, it's like you just cut off everybody. You was like, no, I don't want to mess with anybody in this place because I don't know who to trust. It seems like everybody's shady or whatever. And that's why you're like, okay. And it's like you may breadcrumb people, but people know it, you mean well. It's just you have high walls it's like you're throwing you can't throw a whole boulder over the wall you can throw pebbles you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to say that you're breadcrumbing people because you're still loving and caring and you're friendly and you are very fun to work with and uh you are this fun confident energy if you are an entrepreneur you take the the route less traveled but you also have very high standards and core values and you do business very well you're a business oriented person or no matter what like people definitely feel like you're good with business or you will be good with business they view you as somebody who is meant to have their own business who is a boss kind of energy who takes no shit and you're very attractive as well, okay? I wasn't going to say that earlier, but then we had the King of Wands and the people who view you at work, they do find you attractive no matter when they view you or how they view you. Uh, the haters may hate that and say that you get pretty privilege and they're like, oh yeah, Pound 3 always gets what they want because they look good. Da 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 da. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you got a lot of haters, Pile 3, for what, though? Because you shine and bright. Shine bright like a diamond. You have infinite power, and people are very intimidated by your power. Like, And also, a lot of people want a relationship with you, and a lot of people want to be your friend. And then you have these other people who are very jealous when... It's like, if you deny someone's friendship, then they turn into your enemy. Or if you set a boundary with somebody, then they turn into your en enemy, but they still love you, but they hate the fact that you... Love yourself more. <laughs> okay, a lot of people who are at work view you as somebody who loves yourself, who um, could have a nice home or very family-oriented or you prioritize your friends and family and stuff. If they ask you about like what you're going to do on the weekend or maybe they have you on social media, they see that you may hang out with your friends and family and do fun activities and stuff like that and they don't get to experience that side of you because at work it's like no bullshit, no playing, no games and nothing like that. Like you're still friendly and you may do a little ha ha he he here with the people that you actually can trust but it's like you trust very little people at whatever this is or just in general you may have trust issues. I don't know. But yeah. A lot of people also uh, want to give you gifts. They want to give you something as a token of appreciation. Um, you may get awards or like employee of the month. There's something about that and that could piss people off. It's like you get, um, you get recognition from some people and then you don't get recognition from the others who do not like the fact that you get recognition because you get a lot of attention with this star energy. You make a lot of people happy and, um, you know, you really are a beautiful, bright light, and you pour into 
a lot of other people's cups, but you also have boundaries because you can't pour into everybody's cup. You pour into specific people who are willing to reciprocate that energy because you have learned your lesson. Again, you have a lot of wisdom with this Hierophant energy. People do look at you as somebody who's very intelligent, very wise, very spiritual as well. You may talk about your spirituality or you may... Um, you may just look spiritual. You may have... Uh, shirts or t-shirts or or jewelry or you know you may bring your crystals to work and stuff and people just know that like you're the spiritual one at the job and stuff like that like i used to have my when i worked at the dispensary i put my crystals on my section and people like oh my god that's so cool or like what is that why you have that and i'm like because of you no i'm just kidding <laughs> um but yeah there's definitely this emphasis on like your spirituality bleeds through your appearance or through the way that you move and and move and and, and. <laughs> move and like there's just some spiritual aspect to yourself. You're also not afraid to end things and you're quick to transform. You are this phoenix energy with this death energy. You're also extremely mysterious and you won't tell everybody anything with this boundaries. And this death card, because the death makes me think of Scorpio energy. Scorpios are very mysterious but also very seductive and people are very drawn to Scorpios. So it's like people are drawn to you, but also they hate that they can't have access to you. And then the people who have access to you, they uh, hate those people because they, because you have uh, given them access. So there's a lot of jealousy because you don't talk to everybody, but the people that you do talk to, they're grateful, but also they get a lot of hate or a lot of slack because of the fact that you get, they get your attention, I guess. But yeah, I guess my battery's about to die, so that's where we're gonna call it, pile number three. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's up, pile number four? Last but never least, it's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owls Intuition Cleanse Queen Protect My Space and My Energy. Thank you. So, if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell so you can notify when I post some new stuff. If it resonates, comment and shoot me a thumbs up, baby, and let me know how or why, okay? As always, we will get your current energy to see if this is your pile. And, um, you know, keep in mind thousands of people are watching. So, if not, if every message doesn't resonate, maybe those messages weren't for you. But if the whole message don't resonate, you know, pick another pile, watch another reading, just do what makes you happy, okay? But, um... Yeah, if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box. I will never message you for a reading, so please be aware of scammers. But, you know, don't let messages take from you. We're going to get your current energy, boo. <laughs> Alright, last but never least. Okay, pile number four is current energy. Well, we got a runner. We got a runner. <laughs> You're running away. From something and because you ran away from something that was maybe more dark and more toxic you may have moved away from something and this could have been a long time coming or it could have been you were running away from a certain aspect of yourself and you're finally just letting it go you know maybe you're changing the way that you look at yourself maybe you're changing the way that you look at how you present yourself into the world and you're you're running away from the old self you're running away from the old timeline and you're stepping into the new and you're standing into your power you're changing your perspective you're becoming more passionate about change and you're more motivated to change okay you're not worried about what happened and you're learning from your mistakes you're applying the wisdom that you have learned and this is <sighs> How for you have grown a lot. You have been through the darkest of the darkest times and you never let it stop you. You never gave up or never back down, never what? Okay, you never gave up on yourself and you continue to go no matter what and you made it. Because now I'm seeing this squirrel, because we have this squirrel, right? But I'm seeing this video of this squirrel that um, somebody put oil on their bird feeder. So the squirrel just kept trying to get up there. But this squirrel made it and that's you. What was deemed impossible is possible. You're the type of person that you show people things you show people that things are possible. You make people believe in magic. You make people believe in love. And you are very connected and very, very psychic. You're going to be accessing new gifts, not only on the psychic realm, because we do have this dragonfly, but there's also a magical treasure that you're going to be more confident in. Maybe it has to do with music. Maybe it has to do with entertainment. Maybe it has to do with your voice. You putting yourself out there. 
It's something creative, okay? With this creative solutions, think outside the box. And it says view things from a higher perspective. You're changing your view, you're building a new foundation, you're closing out toxic cycles, and you're stepping into a period of releasing judgment, and you're stepping into a period of rebirth, okay? Mars energy. Your energy levels are going to be motivated. You're going to be more motivated to get moving physically and... Um, also, taking action towards your dreams and making sure that you're keeping your mental in check. Again, because I was talking about running away from your old self. If you were somebody who spirals when something goes wrong, you're no longer going to do that. You're just going to be like, okay, where's the solution? You're transforming the way that you think. And that's going to be the solution to pretty much everything that has been going on in your life, okay? No more pessimism. No more victim mentality. If bad shit happens, it is what it is. That's what's happening. You're changing that shit. You're over it. You've been through so much bad shit that you're just like, okay, it's just another notch on my fucking belt. And I'm not trying to say that you're like proud of like the fact that you went through horrible things, but I'm saying that like you're over it. You're like, you know what? I've been through the I've already been through the worst, like, bring it on, you know? And I'm seeing, um, the Emperor's New Groove when, uh, Krunk and, um, what's his name, are on the waterfall, and they're, like, strapped to the tree and about to fall down, and it's like, what could get worse? They're like, you know, there's spikes on the bottom, about to fall over a waterfall, bring it. And then they just go down, like, ah! And they survive, you know what I'm saying? But, um after they went through like crazy ass shit and that's what you you know you're like bring it on fuck it i'm gonna i'm gonna be okay i'm gonna survive and um you're also getting out of survival mode and you're whatever this is this cycle that you have closed out and these aspects of your mindset that you have changed it's really going to allow you to really step into a lot of powerful positive change and you're going to be ascending on so many levels but there's emphasis on physical like maybe you're going to be working out more or just going out more and meeting your people meeting your tribe and they're all going to be different but they're also going to all possess certain gifts and you're all going to be able to provide some solution or come together and create this big I don't know. It's like maybe you're finding your soul tribe. Maybe you're finding like a group of people who you can all bring something to the table in regards to some type of business opportunity or adventure. Or maybe you're going to meet somebody and they're going to be like, oh yeah, you would be perfect for this group because you have this talent and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. So if that resonates at all, let's get into how the people from work view you. All right, pile number four. The people at work view you and maybe even the customers i think you're a little bit more open to somebody okay whoever you're open to somebody and you're saying that you're unhappy at this place and you're saying that there's a lot of um chaos and you know yeah you're like ah i kind of want something new and you may have only told one person but i feel like collectively everybody at work knows that you want to shift and you want to change and that you want to move forward. You want to go a different direction. People are saying, like, okay, I don't know why we're saying people are saying. So people are talking about you and the shift, okay? People are talking about you because they know that you want to leave. <laughs> it, either it's you want to leave a certain shift, like you don't want to work overnights anymore. You want to work the day shift. And if you don't get that, you're going to quit. There's something about, like, an ultimatum coming Maybe you have spoken to somebody about it and then they started telling other people. So that could be, have been something. But if that's not the case, then it's like people can just tell that you're sick of it. Because it's like you're no longer putting in the work that you used to put in. You're doing like the bare minimum. And it's giving like you weren't appreciated. People didn't give you credit. And people like let's say you worked at a place and you know you're working third shift and it was always a mess every single time you came in for your shift but you always were expected to leave after your shift immaculate and you did but now it's like you're doing the bare minimum you're not doing it the way that you used to because you went above and beyond but when people didn't do the same for you it was like, nah, you ain't gonna play me like a fool. What, what, what the fuck is that? What is this double, double standard? You know what I'm saying? And people view you as somebody who, you know, you're no longer accepting this mess. You are a very put together, elegant person. You're very classy, and you're also very fun and funny. And you know, maybe you don't laugh, he he ha ha. I work no more. Maybe you're very serious, or you know, again, it's like you have this like you could be like very emotional right now. 
or just not happy anymore. You're like, this is absurd. I put in so much work and I try to unravel all this chaos, right? And, you know, I try to bring peace to this workplace and I try to make sure that we succeed and you always do your best. That's the thing about you. You always do your best and you're still doing the best, but it's the bare minimum best. <laughs> so they're lucky they're even getting that because they need to honestly be grateful and they need to honestly change the way that they treat you because that's what I'm getting. But um, with this shift, it's like you want to walk away because look at her. She's just, I'm walking down a new path. And it says, have the courage to change course, continue to grow and change and learn. So you've reached the end of a route where you can no longer continue traveling. They know that this is like, they can feel it. They know that you're itching to quit. They know that you're itching to leave. You're out of here. <laughs> you're like, no, 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 no. Let's clarify. What's this? Out of the mess comes elegant order. You always like... The shift will be shit when you come in, but then once you get in and you start taking over, everything comes together. Yeah, queen of coins, king of coins in the reverse. Um, people view you as somebody who's better than somebody else at work. And um, they view you as somebody who always does the right thing with this justice energy. And you are not treated fairly by somebody. And somebody is stressed out because you're going to leave and this could be somebody, it's like, let's say there's a boss, right? And then you're uh, a manager and then you have this other person, the person who comes in and who half asses and then you have to clean up their shit. It's like, the, the person who's above all this, this is just an example though, is like, why the fuck is this person not stepping up? And it's like, maybe this person gets paid more than you and you do better than this person. And they're like, oh my God, it's this person who's going to fuck up everything and this person's going to leave. Like, they're, they're scared. They're like, damn... But also, that's their, their karmic justice. Whoa, what is this? King of Cups and Eight of Coins in the reverse. It's like, you're choosing <laughs> your peace. Like, I think that this job no longer gives you peace, no longer gives you love, no longer... You just don't feel happy anymore, and you're choosing peace. With this yin-yang, you're just choosing peace over, um, you know, that. And you... You'd rather love on yourself. This is an act of self-love. You want to be happy, and this place no longer aligns with you you're gonna go a different direction what's this shift actually what's this fool so i think we got the shift down packed but what's this fool energy yeah somebody was dumb bro somebody was dumb and now you're about to dip out of here and they're gonna lose they're losing out bro because it's like right now you may be look we have the fool again but in the reverse it's like maybe they feel like you wasn't going to take a risk. You know what I'm saying? But you're letting go. Four of coins in the reverse. You're letting go. And they thought that they were going to keep you stuck. Or, or you know, they were, they think that like they could be able to think of a plan to try and keep you. And that's... People view you as somebody who's just like, you're moving on. You're like, okay, let's say you got a promotion or something or a raise. And they still didn't change the way that they act at this job. You're like, the more, m more money is not changing... <laughs> this situation it's still a mess like let's go i'm done and you're you're leaving so let's get into your tarot all right so i'm here let it go let it go and you sure the fuck are some of you guys like they they people don't want you to leave bro they still have hope that you're not gonna be able to end that you're going to think about this and contemplate and think this through before you leave but a lot of people feel um a lot of the people who work with you or view this is giving like a specific ass message. So if this doesn't hasn't resonated so far, this is probably not your pile, and I would pick either one, two, or three, because those are a little bit more general than this one. But this is like a specific ass um, situation going on here, and um, you know you could be in a position of power, and you know there could be others, either subordinates or above you, regardless, and. You know, you're standing firm and you said what you said. You're standing on business and you told people what was not working. You told people and there was no changes. And the people at work are viewing you as somebody who is like, I'm about to close this out. I'm letting this go because I can actually kind of... It's like people know that you have another path or another business or 
you may this may be a part-time job or something like that or you know it's something that you you do that it's like you know what it's fine I'm gonna leave because I know that I have a support system or I have a, a fallback I have savings like you'll be okay uh people at work view you as somebody who is like you're no longer gonna tolerate this and you're gonna go your own path lone wolf energy you're the type of person who should probably just work by yourself because clearly you can't find people who actually work on your level like nobody wants to put in the work but you and you're bringing the success to this place but it's like you're carrying the weight of the world the weight of this company the weight of all this whatever this is you're carrying the weight of it and you have other people who are just riding on your coattails they're on top of you too like what craziness and people view you as somebody who is a hard worker who brings so much success and abundance and they're like stressed out because they know that you're gonna let go because why would I hold on to this like, no one's supporting me. I have no support. And, um, you know, they really wa don't want to let you go because they know that you're very good for business. Somebody here knows that you're extremely good for business and they're shocked to even be finding out or, or like, hearing rumors about the fact that you want to leave. And they're, like, shocked. They're like, what is going on? But they have no idea about, like, what's really going on because they don't check in. They don't ask or they're not listening, even though you have told them multiple times and they have not changed. God damn. Let's get some more. How do the people at work or the people at work view you? Nine of Swords in the reverse. You're not stressed about this. Another wolf. Yeah, you're not stressing this. You're just like over it. You're like, nah. And you also, people... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, one more. What's this King of Spears in reverse? Yeah, you have people who are low-key very angry and upset and heartbroken because you want to move on. Because you're choosing bigger and better things and you're following your dreams. People are heartbroken, but fuck them. You've been stabbed in the back so much, you're like, I have to close this cycle out. Also, it could be a very toxic-ass fucking environment. And there's no point in investing in this, especially because a lot of you guys may have another business that you were just working at this because, you know, maybe you needed extra funds, but now you're like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it anymore. Like, I'm done. And you're going to focus on whatever this is, which is actually probably why you were placed in this because you need to be tunnel vision on whatever this is because this is going to provide you with the ten of pentacles that's a side message yeah queen of coins it's like you're gonna get it on your own you're not meant to be in this area they don't deserve you you're gonna build it yourself self-made that's what it is guys you're gonna be self-made and you're gonna get clients how are those clients in your future business going to view you ew you might have some people who are gonna be very attracted to you Jesus, yeah, the Page of Spears and the Knight of Spears. That's also with the people that you work with as well. They could be very obsessed with your looks or very, very, um, very negative and like, these people are very negative. You work with very negative people who just don't want to see you win. Okay, Four of Swords. Yeah. Um, they're going to be like, you know exactly what you want and they're going to be very much intrigued by you and they're going to feel like you're a healer. Some of you guys may go to like a more holistic vibe. Let's say you work at the hospital and now you just work and you do Reiki or you work at like a metaphysical shop or something. I don't know. That's a random ass thing, but... Regardless, at the end of the day, you're going to heal and you're going to become this boss-ass person all on your own. And also, the people at work view you as someone who's very beautiful and handsome, who's very abundant, who's no longer giving energy and no longer fighting for this because it's just making you upset and it's no longer... You're not going to be stressing over building someone else's bag. You're done with that shit. You said, I'm going to bet, I'm going to build my own bag. And the people who work with you, they view you as somebody who's going to be an independent entrepreneur who's going to be abundant no matter what. You're going to get your Ten of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? Anything else? Yeah, they view you as somebody who is a master manifester, who stays to himself, who is worth investing in, but who also has a lot of people who are surrounded um, a lot of people who just don't step up and, and who don't match your energy. Yeah, you're closed off to people. You don't need this selfish energy. You're focused on your money and this place is not worth the headache. It's a block and that's why you're leaving. Well, I'm sorry, pile four. Pick another pile if that doesn't resonate. You know what I'm saying? I love you. I hope you have an amazing day or whatever. Congratulations on your new journey that's starting because fuck this. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.